Welcome back everyone. iOS 14.5 actually went ahead and brought out a really cool feature that you can go ahead and utilize on your specific iPhone right now, which is pretty much stopping apps from tracking you. So in order to do this, what you want to do, make sure you're on iOS 14.5 or newer. If you're on a super old version of iOS, it's not going to work. So iOS 14.5 or newer, those are the specific softwares that supports this. So what you want to do at this point is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings app. You won't come here. You'll come into a panel that looks like this. Now, all you have to do is scroll down until you get into the privacy section of your specific settings panel. So as you can see, there's privacy right here. You're going to go ahead and click on there. Now, once you're on this specific panel, all you have to do is go ahead and click the second option that says tracking. So you want to go ahead and click tracking right there. And right here is where you can go ahead and change up a lot of different things. So let me break down both of these right now. First of all, this is pretty much the main option if you want to allow apps to request to track you. So basically, if you open up, let's say, Fruit Ninja, I don't know why Fruit Ninja is the only app here, but let's say if you open up Fruit Ninja, it may ask you, hey, do you allow us to track you? Do you allow us to, you know, allow us to do any of these things? These are pop-ups. Now you can click allow or don't allow in this specific case. Most of the time, people will click don't allow, but you can actually not even allow these you know, specific companies to even put that pop-up on your display in the first place by disabling this little option. So it says allow apps to request a track. By turning this off, you don't even give the option for them to give you the option to track you. They're just not going to track you in general. So that's pretty much the main way to do it. You know, that's like what I would recommend. Now, let's say you want to, you know, allow it for some reason. Well, you can disable certain apps. So let's say you want to keep this on for some reason. There are some apps that actually require this thing to be on. I think some like thermostats and stuff probably require this to be on, in my opinion. I could be totally wrong about that, but there could be some cases. Now, let's say you want this on, but let's say you wanted to keep Fruit Ninja on. Well, you can go ahead and keep certain apps on and certain apps off. So in this case with Fruit Ninja, let's say I don't want Fruit Ninja to even ask me. I don't want them having anything about me. You can turn this off and essentially they won't I'll be able to track you and or they won't be able to have that pop up come into your display where they request to track you. So that's essentially how you go ahead and stop apps from tracking you. In my opinion, just turn this thing off and you will pretty much not have to worry about it on your iPhone anymore, which is a humongous asset for sure. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.